Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach from electricalexamcoach.com. This is lesson 2.2 in our video series, and we're going to be diving into Article 220 load calculations. And just to clarify what we're doing, we are calculating the demand on a home in order to be able to size the main breaker, the wire, the pipe, the service, and everything that goes along with it. But before we can size all that, we have to know what is the demand on this home. And that's what we're going to be learning over the next few video lessons. Article 220 is broken down into five sections. The first one is general requirements. The second one is branch circuit load calculations. The third one is feeder and service load calculations. Part four is optional feeder and service load calculations. And part five is farm load calculations. We're going to take you through each one of these piece by piece, except for farm load calculations. The odds of you ever being tested on that are very slim. And if you are, you'll be able to apply everything that I am going to teach you and roll it into a farm load calc. In Article 220 calculations, we're going to be able to round up or down. We're going to round up to the nearest whole number when it's 0.50 and above. And we're going to round down and drop it when it's 0.49 or below. I want to let you know, though, that we're only going to do it one time at the end of the calculation. You're not going to be rounding up and down in between each piece, or you'll definitely end up with the wrong answer. So let's imagine we have this scenario of 26 amps, and after we do all of our math, it equals 32.5 amps. Well, in this case, we're going to round up to 33 amps. Now let's imagine we have a similar scenario, and when we get our answer, it's 31.25. Well, in this case, it's 0.49 or less, so we are going to round down in this scenario. And that's how we're going to deal with all of our numbers in load calculations. When doing Article 220 load calculations, we're going to be using nominal voltages. Although our actual meter reading might be 115 or 130, for our calculations, we're going to be using nominal system voltages like 120, 12240, 12208. It makes it a lot easier to do these calculations, not having to guess or wonder what the actual voltage readings might be. The first thing that we're going to learn about for our whole home load calculation is how to calculate the general lighting and receptacle loads. This is going to cover all of our general lighting and general receptacles in places like bedrooms, living rooms, hallways, everywhere that's considered a general area. We've grouped all of them together and come up with a very easy way to do it. Now, what I'm getting ready to teach you only applies to residential one, two, and multifamily dwelling units. Before we go any farther, we need to define and clarify what is a one, two, and multifamily dwelling unit. Well, a single family dwelling unit, often called a one family dwelling unit, is exactly like it sounds. It is a single standalone structure or classified thereof. Secondly is going to be a two family. In our area, we call it a duplex. You may not use that terminology, but this is two homes that are smushed together and classified as a two family dwelling. And anything that is three or more is called a multifamily dwelling unit. It's very important that we understand these definitions because there's some codes that apply in certain areas than others that we have to watch out for, not only in electrical, but also when we get into building, mechanical, plumbing, and zoning. So, and these are universal across all these trades. There's a single family, a two family, and a multifamily dwelling unit. The first question we have to ask is how do we calculate the general lighting load? Are we going to calculate it per receptacle outlet, per lighting? Do we have to count them, add it all up? Thankfully, no, they've made it very simple. So we're going to calculate it at three watts per square foot. So for all of the general lighting and all of the general receptacles, all we have to do is take the square footage of the dwelling unit and multiply it by three. But the code language actually uses VAs. So three watts per square foot or three VAs per square foot. But the question is, what is a VA? A VA is a volt amp. And for all of our testing, it's equivalent to a watt. So it's true for us to say that 2,400 VAs is equivalent to 2,400 watts. So for these calculations, we're going to be calculating them at three VAs per square foot. When calculating our general lighting and receptacle loads, we will use the outside dimensions of a building or structure. So we're going to measure from the outside of the building, both directions, do our multiplication, and that'll let us know how many square feet we have to multiply by. When calculating our general lighting and receptacle VAs, open porches are not counted in the square foot VAs. We're not going to count open porches and spaces that are not adaptable for future use. 
Now, in the field, you can work that out with your inspector. In the testing world, they'll say whether or not it's adaptable for future use. Or if they don't say anything about it, that means it is adaptable for future use. And most likely, you're going to count it. How many VAs would you calculate before demand factors? Let me stop right there. We haven't learned what a demand factor is yet, but we're going to soon. How many VAs would you calculate before demand factors in a home that is 1,500 square foot of living space on the main level with a 500 square foot open porch and a 500 square foot unfinished basement that is adaptable for future use? Step one, we're going to find out our total square foot that we're working with. We have our 1,500 general, of course, but we're going to omit the 500 square foot of the open front porch. We are going to count the 500 square foot of basement because it is adaptable for future use. So we take our 1500 plus the five and that equals 2000 square feet. Now all we have to do is multiply that by three VAs per square foot and that gives us 6000 VAs. How many VAs would you calculate before demand factors in a home that is 2800 square foot of living space on the main level with a 500 square foot upstairs bonus room and 500 square feet of open front porch. First thing we're gonna do is total our square feet. Of course, we're gonna count the 2800 of general, but what about this bonus room business? Yes, we will count the 500 square foot of bonus room. I wanna note that the bonus room is a part of the general square foot, but the question makers will put things like this in your test to throw you off. Then we are going to omit the open front porch, we total all this up and we get 3,300. Now we take our square feet multiplied by three VAs per square foot and we're gonna select C. Now that we've learned about our three VAs per square foot, now we have to learn about what's called our small appliance and laundry circuit VAs. In every whole dwelling unit calculation, we're going to have two small appliance branch circuits calculated at 1,500 VAs each, and one laundry circuit calculated at 1500 VAs each for a total of 4,500 VAs. Now this is something that we're only going to do and attach it to the general lighting load and receptacles before demand factors. We're only gonna do it when we're doing a whole house load calc. We are not going to add it on to something like an individual dryer or an individual range. Those are calculated individually. This is only when we're doing a whole home load calc. And once we start doing them, I will make sure to reiterate to you so you understand when and how to apply this. The easiest way to do it is anytime you're doing a whole dwelling unit load calculation is you take your square foot and you multiply it by three VAs per square foot. Let's imagine we had this 2,000 square foot house multiplied by three VAs equals 6,000 square foot. Then you just tack on the 4,500. It's for the two small appliance and the one laundry circuit. And you're only going to tack it on if you're doing a whole home load calc. All right, y'all, that's it for lesson two. You can head over to electricalexamcoach.com to unlock the pro version and all of the quizzes and practice tests. Let's get to it.